Time of Light Secondary Ion Mass Spectrometry, TOF SIMS, is a very sensitive surface analytical technique well established for many industrial and research applications. TOF SIMS is an acronym for the combination of the analytical technique SIMS Secondary Ion Mass Spectrometry with Time of Light Mass Analysis, TOF. The technique provides detailed elemental and molecular information about the surface, thin layers, interfaces of the sample and gives a full three-dimensional analysis. The use is widespread, including semiconductors, polymers, paints, coatings, glass, paper, metals, ceramics, biomaterials, pharmaceuticals and organic tissue. For a SIMS analysis, a solid surface is bombarded by primary ions of some KAV energy. The primary ion energy is transmitted to the target atoms via atomic collisions and a so-called collision cascade is generated. Part of the energy is transported back to the surface, allowing surface atoms and molecular components to overcome the surface binding energy. The interaction of the collision cascade with the surface molecules is soft enough to allow even large and non-volatile molecules with masses up to 12,000 U to escape without or with little fragmentation. SIMS is a very surface sensitive technique because the emitted particles originate from the uppermost one or two atomic layers. Most of the emitted particles are neutral in charge, but a small portion is also positively or negatively charged. The subsequent time of flight mass analysis of the emitted ions provides detailed information on the elemental and molecular composition of the surface. TOF mass spectrometry is based on the fact that ions with the same energy but different masses travel with different velocities. An electrostatic field accelerates the generated ions to a common energy. The accelerated ions then travel over a drift path to the detector. The lighter ones fly with a higher velocity and arrive at the detector before the heavier ions. Measuring the flight time of each ion allows the determination of its mass. This cycle is repeated with a repetition rate of up to 50 kHz. Modern TOF analyzers compensate the small differences in initial energy and angle of the ions in order to achieve high mass resolution. The combination of a linear drift path and an ion mirror reflectron allow for resolutions of up to 30,000. Major advantages of this approach over quadrupole and magnetic sector type analyzers are the extremely high transmission, the parallel detection of all masses and the unlimited mass range. The pulse primary ion beam can be focused to a small spot, microprobe mode, and rustered to determine the lateral distribution of elements and molecules. In this mode of operation, lateral resolutions of down to 50 nanometers can be achieved. During the drift time of the secondary ions, the extraction field is switched off and low energy electrons can be used to compensate for any surface charging caused by primary or secondary particles, charge compensation. Thus all types of bulk insulators can be analyzed without any problems. The time during which the extraction field is switched off can also be used to apply low energy ion beams for sample erosion. In this case, the low energy ion beam forms a sputter crater. The center of this crater is analyzed by the pulse primary ion beam, dual beam depth profiling. In principle, there are four different modes of operation or views on the data. Surface spectrometry, surface imaging, depth profiling and 3D analysis. The aim of a static SIMS investigation is the analysis of the original non-modified surface composition. As SIMS in principle is a destructive technique, this means that the contribution of those secondary ions to the spectrum originating from already bombarded surface areas to the spectrum must be neglectable. This quasi non-destructive surface analysis can be achieved by applying a very low primary ion dose density. 
Surface spectrometry provides detailed elemental and molecular information from the outermost layers. The key features here are that the analysis is quasi non-destructive. This means that for a standard analysis, you consume less than a percent of a monolayer for the full analysis. Another key feature is, as said before, the elemental and molecular information. Another strong point for SIMS in general is the high sensitivity. So here you can achieve PPM or PPB sensitivity. By scanning the fine focused ion beam over the surface, like an electron beam in an electron microscope, mass resolved secondary ion images, chemical maps, can be obtained simultaneously. In this mode of operation, high resolution surface images with a high sensitivity and a lateral resolution of down to 50 nanometers can be recorded. The key features in this mode of operation are that you can obtain chemical mapping of the surface. You see the lateral distribution of elements and molecules. You can do this with an extremely high lateral resolution of down to 50 nanometers. And due to the parallel mass detection of the time of flight analyzer, you can acquire all the images of all the different masses simultaneously. For depth profiling, two ion beams operate in the dual beam mode. While the first ion beam is progressively analyzing the crater bottom, the second beam is generating a sputter crater. Analysis is performed by the same ion beam used for surface spectrometry or surface imaging. Sputtering is achieved by a beam of reactive species, oxygen or cesium, or clusters, iron clusters or oxygen clusters, at low energies per atom for increased sensitivity, high depth resolution, and short transient. The key features in this mode of operation are that you can analyze the in-depth distribution of elements and molecules, you get a very good depth resolution of around one nanometer, and you can analyze extremely shallow samples of a few nanometers to relatively thick samples of several microns. The visualization of 3D sample structures is possible by combining spectral, imaging and depth information. 3D analysis is ideal for the investigation of complex and unknown structures or defects. In particular, the composition, shape and position of features and defects can be visualized. The key features are here the combination of the imaging and the in-depth information. Also here you can obtain elemental and molecular information. As well as comprehensive online analysis, the parallel mass detection of the toxins provides the means to carry out retrospective analysis. Regardless of the knowledge about the sample before the measurement, the data can be explored afterwards to look for unexpected results, such as unknown structures, contaminations at interfaces, and so on. The Surface Lab software can display spectra from any coordinate or group of coordinates, images from any section, vertical or horizontal, depth profiles from any selected area, and various 3D views as required. To summarize the key features of time of flight sims, you can detect all elements and isotopes. The mass range starts from mass 1, so from hydrogen, and goes up to mass 12,000. You get organic and inorganic chemical information, so you can detect molecules, fragments of molecules, and elements. Time of flight SIMS has a very small information depth, so you analyze only the first one to three atomic layers. The sensitivity is extremely high, so you get sensitivity in the PPM and PPB range. In imaging, lateral resolutions of down to 50 nanometers are possible. For depth profiling, depth resolution can be as good as one nanometer. The mass resolution on a modern time of flight SIMS instrument is extremely high, so you can easily reach up to 30,000 of mass resolution. One big advantage of the TOF SIMS or the time of flight analyzer is the parallel mass detection, that you detect all the masses at the same time with every shot of the primary ion gun. Quantification, however, is not straightforward in SIMS in general, and you need standards to get quantitative information. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope 
I was able to give you a short insight into the possibilities of time of flight sims. If you want to learn more about the technique and its possibilities, please feel free to come to our webpage at iontov.com.